Alrighty, this week uh, got a case. My favorite thing to do, go on eBay, grab a case where I can't really see what is exactly in it. Uh, because, you know, there's always something good. I know there's some good stuff in there because I did see the highlights and there was uh, some stuff that I was looking for. So I'm going to get to that in a second. But first of all, let's get to, uh, well, some of the customs I did. Just your, you know, generic. I didn't go crazy with the decals or anything like that. This is a Cadillac wagon. Just did the orange and black combo. Um, running out of ideas for Mustangs. Uh, changed the wheels, did a little paint on it, nothing more, nothing less, uh, then decided to do it a uh, drag Merc, you know, just painted the grill black and uh, a little sunburst and then the, the tail black, did another combat medic, I always like the, uh, the combat medics for uh, customs, they're cool. Uh, very easy to do because there's lots of space. So we've got that one done, and that's pretty much it for the customs this week. I did get a, a Jada 57 police car. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. It's uh, too big though. It's gonna have to, you know, it's it's not to scale like like the other cars. You know, these cars are too big. The Jadas are not 164 as far as I can see. Um, now the case. Just gonna take the uh, couple trays out here. Okay, uh, I'll put it down here. Okay, let's start with a uh, weird one. The Alfa Romeo Iguana. This comes from a company called Tin Toys. Alfa Romeo Iguana. Kind of cool. Not in the best of shape though. Uh, this one doesn't go back far, maybe to 2010. Love how the tires look on that caddy. Of course, this is a matchbox. Got a couple of green lights, a couple of GTOs. Always a fan of the green lights. Yeah, those are cool. So we've got a couple of those, and then some matchbox. This one is a uh, Planet Scout. Seems to be in pretty much perfect shape. Don't see much in the way of dings on this thing. So we got the Planet Scout. Now here's a couple of the, I don't like these Tootsie Toy things. I guess that's what they are, all, you know, steel window. Uh, this one for sure is a Tootsie Toy. I'm not sure about that one. Um, then some more Matchbox. This is the uh, Camper Van by Matchbox. From the, uh, I think this is a Super Fast. I got the Camper Van. And the Baja Buggy. Baja buggy. I always like the Baja buggy. It's cool. And this hovercraft is in terrible condition. But I'll show it anyway because I never had it uh, before. So I might as well uh, you know, hang on to what I have at this point. The old forklift. Believe it or not, I didn't have one of those forklifts before. Um, don't know why. Because I collected Matchbox before I collected Hot Wheels. The Dodge Crane truck. That's also a super fast. This one is called a Hellraiser. Once again, these are uh, all Matchbox that I'm showing at this juncture. Uh, let me just get into the rest of this case. I know I had a couple of uh, other cars that I wanted to show. Oh yeah, these ones were a uh, couple of Lesneys, but I have them both. Because once again, as I said, I did collect... Uh, there's the doggy in the back, there's the doggy. I did collect those before I collected Hot Wheels, so, uh, you know, I did come across them. Josh the Collector guy had one of these last week on his program with the gun with the guys. All the army men in the back, no heads cut off, and the gun. This one seems to be in fairly decent shape, so I was glad to pick that up. goes good with uh, some of, well, why don't I show these right now, actually. It goes good with these two, which I've been trying to track down forever. And finally got them. Once again, these are hard to get in great shape for a good price. But when you buy in bulk, I got, I don't know, this whole thing for like 30 bucks. So, um, I mean, these alone are in pretty good shape. The gun bucket and the khaki cooler. Red lines. These are my favorite. But for some reason, this uh, gun runner... Uh, not the gun runner. The uh, personnel carrier seems like it should go with these somehow. So, there we go. 
Love those. Those are really cool. The gun bucket. I think if I had a rock band, I'd name it Gun Bucket. That's a great name for a band. Gun Bucket. Unless, of course, you're singing about flowers or something. That's not so good. Okay, now, what else do we got? Well, we're on an army theme. This is a Zilmax personnel carrier or truck of some sort. I guess it's not a personnel carrier because there's no personnel on it. Um, this one I really like. It's missing the uh, back. It's a majorette snowplow. Uh, it's missing the back, unfortunately. There's a uh, orange dome that goes on here, but you know I might be able to find that. Well, that is one uh, one cool snowplow. There's stuff the Ministry of Transportation written in French on the front of that. And finally, an M2. I don't know why there was an M2 in here. It's a 50-something Oldsmobile. Uh, M2. 53, is it? 55? It would be a 53. So, managed to get those ones. Now, the rest should be probably Hot Wheels. It looks like it anyway. The uh, Maxi Taxi. This one's kind of a weird one because the Maxi Taxis that I've seen before have had a black stripe here or a black stripe lower. This one doesn't have one unless, of course, it's rubbed off or something. But, uh, and it has this weird thing right here, which is just down to the steel. But anyway, it is a red line maxi taxi. Then we got a, a train of sorts. This is called the flat something, flat, uh, flat car, flat car, flat car, I guess. It even has the uh, thing on it. And to pull it, we have the uh, shunter. And this one's in uh, great shape. I could have put these together before, but they do. There we go. There. Here we go. Mm hmm. It appears to work quite good. Ah, Sean Holden. Think of you when I saw that, pal. Yep. Sean drives a uh, bread truck. His family has the bread business. And uh, I know he likes the Wonder Bread truck. I know he has a couple too, actually. Uh, this is a twin mill in pretty terrible shape. The red version. The well, you know, the wheels are just uh, you know kind of strange on it. The one thing is that these pipes are supposed to be there. They go along the side, and they are not, which is a downer. But once again, this all came in the same case, so I guess I can't complain too much. I believe this is from the 80% uh, uh, of the ambulance. <laughs> it's missing the ambulance part. And this is the front of the moving van. I, uh, you know, these are in great shape. I just wish that the uh, rest of the vehicle was there because these are pretty much flawless. Um, red lines, some of the older stuff, but uh, you know, they need the second part. The trailer and the part of the ambulance or tow truck or whatever it is. I don't know why that's in there. That seems like a weird one to be in this in this pack. I'll tell you that much. Another one of these. I think I've got three or four of those now. It seems like I used to get a fire truck all the time. Now I'm getting that uh, super van and all my uh, the things I get. Uh, what else did I grab here? A few more things to see here. Not many. The second wind. Never had one of these before. Seems like it's in pretty decent shape. This video is going so long, I think I need a second wind to finish it. Okay, Funny Money from 74. Another red line. I like that. Wish it was in a little better shape, but, you know, it's good because I don't have it. This one good for Costa Rica, the old Corvette uh, Surf Shop Express. Although the roads are so terrible, the bottom would be uh, ripped off that in about five minutes. So, Kind of cool, though. I like that one. Um, Nissan, uh, what is this? This is like a muscle machine, I think. Couldn't be in much worse shape, I don't think. Boy, that bar is not, in fact, that's broken. Wow. It was so fast it broke the uh, stabilizer bar. Now that's in terrible shape. Uh, Okay, a couple more. Firebird Funny Car. I don't have that particular one yet. Uh, well, up until now. Just a few more cars. The Sidekick. Oh, this is in fantastic shape. That one's in pretty good shape, that Sidekick. 
ready orange or something. Hard to nail down that color. Some of these colors, you know, they come in rose red, they come in red, they come in dark pink, dark red, light red, it's orange. And after all the years, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what color that is, but I believe that's just your basic red sidekick, red line. And, wow, I don't think you'll ever find a red line in crappier shape than that. Awesomeness. Mr. 70 Kuda man, maybe he'd be liking that. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. That's been played with. Terrible, actually. Indie Eagle. Never had an Indie Eagle before. That's also missing something back here. I know there's like a stabilizer bar on there. And there was a Hot Wheels sticker on the side as well that used to be there. Um, Continental. Lincoln Continental. This one's in decent shape. I don't think I have many of these. Maybe one or two. Not, not in green, though. This is my first green one. And two more. This one, another Rocket by Baby. I have about four of these now, all in different colors, so I'm glad because for some reason, I, you know, I don't like fantasy cars, but I really like this car. I had the pink one first, and then I ended up with uh, with this one. Anyway, geez, we're going too long here. And this one I had as a kid, the Mazda 2 Plus 2. Yep, when I was a child, I remember buying that. And uh, this is another one of my cars. I wanted to get the paddy wagon. I finally got that, and then I wanted to get this too. The chrome one. It came from the chrome set or something like that. Uh, something chromes. Super chromes. Anyway, that's basically a, a look at what I got. The case. And uh, the case and the cars. There we go. Cool. Thanks for watching. Oh, i got to get this in focus. To, uh, zoom. Oh, yeah, you don't want to zoom out on a, uh, you know, a little bit of a... Uh, What's it called? Out of focus shot. Alright, thanks for watching.